All right, guys. I pretty much got it all pretty much done now. I can start loading stuff back. I uh, I'll show you what I did. I went around and I put all this um Unistrot, this uh, perforated angle iron everywhere, um, so I could hook on to everything. Everything's got one. All the railing. I built this box here for um like maybe like three foot pieces of um steel pipe 30 inch it's 20 inches high so I can put 24's in there 30's 36's um, it's a good size box there anything 4 feet 5 feet I did put a piece of angle line here I'm just gonna lay them on the floor here this is where my nitrogen goes and then I got a, I got a spot for LP gas extra tank and then I got two spots here I'm gonna put uh, smoke pipe in the two footers and the one footers. I'm probably going to put my oil container there uh, with the funnel. I'm not sure yet on that until I start loading it. Tomorrow I can start loading everything in. I got this all done. I got all this perforated angle line here everywhere. It's got that angle line here, here, all the way across. I did put a piece here. I got one up top there, and I got another one up top here, and um, put a piece of wood here to stop any pipes going to be laying on the floor here, all the copper and long pieces of pipes going to lay right in the floor here. I did add a piece of wood across the back here, so I wouldn't be, you know, on that edge, because there's a piece along the edge. Um, ladder's going here. I'm just gonna put a bungee on it, and uh, I'm just gonna put a bungee on this also. But that's where the pan truck's going. I did a put a I put a bunch of these eye hooks everywhere. One, two, three. One here. One here. Usually I put my um, my toilet augers here on this on this end. It's looking cold out today. Put one here. Put another one here for like extension cords. I was gonna put another shelf in here. I got extra shelving. Um, I could put some more shelving up top here. Another another shelf up here up top here, probably coming out 10 inches or so. I could put another another shelving over here if I wanted. I did build this. Um, I put this piece of three quarter plywood in here because there was nothing here in the door. You could you could see the door moving back and forth. So I did add this. I uh, put Unistrut or uh, perforated angle iron. I put another one there to strengthen it all the way down. I did screw it along the bottom. I did make this this uh, 20 inch box here. This is going to be for like PVC and copper pipe over here. I do have a spot. I do have a spot here for long pieces of pipe, like you know, um, eight footers or whatever I want. I did make this so strengthened. Got a little more shut it. I did put a little a little tray over there. Usually what I put there is my um, like garbage bags and stuff like that. So I did put that in there. Did uh, build Miss Molly a little uh, removable seat section there where I got to put a, a little. Um, you know, a towel down with a little bed for her. And it's four inches off, so this this thing will clear by an inch all the way down. So if I gotta open the door, I don't have to worry about that. What I usually do is I, I get a little cardboard box in here that goes along here that's got a high edge. And I just cut the section out and I just put the blanket in there and they'll be fine. I'll show you what I did with the seat. Alright, so what I did on the seat was, there's, there's four screws that hold the seat down. I just loosened up the, the four screws, and I was able to take a piece of this aluminum and notch it. I don't need to see the screws. So you just loosen up them two screws, and them two on that side, and this whole thing will come right out of here. 
because you're going to be able to get that out if the mechanics come in here and they have to work they have to be able to get this out but this will come right out and I reinforced it good I made it I came out with a piece you know and see it's all aluminum and uh, put a brace in the front here so I made it all the aluminum I could and whatever wherever I needed I used this other perforated angle I built this this little tray and a screw in the back ain't going nowhere I'll show you what else I did All right, and I did, I did add this, did add this extra piece here. The other one was only this little tray. So I added this, these uh, two by fours to, to be at the proper height. And then I built this to fit, obviously. You know, put a piece in here and screwed it all good. And um, that'll be where I put my briefcase. I have my briefcase up there and I'm making out bills and whatnot. I did add this lower section down here under the dash. I did add this one piece. This thing will come right out. There's one screw right here. Right? And then this whole thing will come right out. You know, and it's a little shelf. I can put stuff in there. And uh, I did put this back over here. The flashes. You know, I can continue to do more stuff to this thing, but I gotta get all my tools back in here. So tomorrow, up tomorrow morning, I'm gonna vacuum this, and I'm gonna start loading everything back in here. I'm pretty much done with the build. You know, I might be able to do a couple of little things. I got a little one of them little diesel heaters coming. Uh, seems like I'm gonna keep my uh, my trash barrel right here. Be a good spot for it. I just have to bungee it in there. I'm going to leave this railing here because I like that coming in and out, the railing. This truck's a little higher. I was going to put the uh, little diesel heater here, but I'm not sure yet. Unless I find another spot for the barrel. Maybe I'll make a little platform and, and put it right here, the little diesel heater. Uh, face it that way because i got to fill it anyway. I might do that. I might put a little platform. I'm going to leave this seat here. I'm not going to take this out. I'm going to leave this. And, uh, you know, a little diesel heater might go right there. I'm not sure yet on that, but I have to start getting my tools in here and load all this stuff back up. And everything, everything is, you know, attention to detail. I think it come out awesome. I think it come out awesome. A lot of work. I don't know how many days I've been working on it. I think probably about nine or ten days I've been working on it. I think it was last Friday I started. And today's Sunday. Nine days. <clears throat> I like the way this I like the way this seat came out for Miss Molly. That's uh took me a lot lot to do that. That was that was uh took me some time. You know, and I got my platform, I got this other platform. I gotta raise this seat up because the seat's a little lower than I like. But there is a there is an adjustment on there. I have to figure that out and see if I could raise the seat up a little bit. I do get a couple of containers here. I might put them there because I could you know, put stuff down on a, on a dash like that. It's actually not a bad idea, you know, to be able to put stuff there. It doesn't really interfere. I might, I might not, I'm not sure yet. I might say something when I, if I put something like that, they put a sticker, they might, they might say something. I might just hang them up top there like I had them before for paperwork.